African Muslims who live in the Northwest Metro now have a new place to worship. A new mosque recently opened up in Brooklyn Center, and reporter Sonia Goins has more on the new place of prayer. So we need to be grateful and thankful to Allah, to our community, even the country in which we live. From the outside, you would never know this Brooklyn Center business complex was home to a mosque. Well, this is a great deal for us. You have no idea as to uh, the pleasure this place has given to our individual members or collective community. Masjid Al-Ansar opened its doors in January. Today, they held Friday prayers. It is Allah who gives you the ability to even build a house. It is a pleasure for us to have a place close home that we can able to share the Islam religion to our children and our sisters, our aunties, our nephews. I was really excited. Mohammed Bangura lives in Brooklyn Park. Before the mosque was built, he had to go to North Minneapolis to worship. It's really been a dream come true for us because we as Muslim youth, in the Northwest suburbs, we never really had like a place where we could congregate as Muslims. The Muslim population is growing in the Northwest Metro. The congregation is so large, this summer members had to use a school to celebrate a religious holiday. It's one of the best locations because majority of our community lives in the Northwest suburbs. The mosque will not only be a place to pray, but a place to learn as well. We want to teach them the way of Allah want to teach them how to serve their community, how to be good citizens. Now the mosque is open to the general public, even non-Muslims. The only requirement is that females cover their heads and wear a hijab like I'm wearing. Members say the Islamic Center would help to build stronger ties within the community. Our center is not just about Muslims, it's about everybody. If it's about Islam, then it should be about everybody because Islam teaches us to be kind to, to humanity. In Brooklyn Center, Sonia Goins, 12 News. And for now, the congregation is renting the space. They hope to raise at least $800,000 to officially call it home.